Earthlings in the Northern Hemisphere, are you hot enough yet? Well, Sunday we're welcoming the longest day of the year. Right, summer solstice. So besides it being the opposite of the winter solstice, how do we explain this annual event? To understand the summer solstice, you've got to understand the Earth's tilt. It might not feel like it, but the Earth is skewed at a 23.5 degree angle. It's also spinning while spinning, but that's for another day. The overhead sun is over the Tropic of Cancer. It receives the largest amount of solar radiation. On this day, the length of daytime of the Northern Hemisphere is the longest in the year. As the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration points out, the name itself speaks to the length of the day. The word solstice comes from Latin solstitium, or sol, the sun, plus stit, standing. Basically, it'll feel like the sun is standing still. Since most places up north can expect somewhere around 16 hours of daylight on the summer solstice, it's a good time to soak up some rays, but the annual event also coincides with many formal traditions. In Scandinavia, for example, they celebrate Midsummer, a historically pagan celebration in which people feast and dance around a maypole. They also drink and sing at the same time. We recommend two beers per nube. This will improve both your singing and your Swedish. In some Christian traditions, people celebrate the nativity of St. John the Baptist through feasts and bonfires. If you are confused on what to do for summer solstice, just eat or take a picture of the sun. I don't know. You'll have plenty of time for both. For Newsy, I'm Sebastian Martinez.